Toronto-based Club Coffee is heating up the competition in the single-serve coffee market. It plans to launch fully compostable coffee pods this fall. Single-serve is the fastest-growing segment of the coffee market, but some consumers worry about the waste created by all those disposable pods that end up in the garbage. John Piggott is the CEO of Club Coffee. I spoke to him earlier and started by asking, what's driving this market? consumer loves the fact they can have brew one cup of coffee at a time. It's consistent, it's simple, it's convenient, and 10 billion of these pods will be sold this year in North America. The consumer loves this. And it's really a growing segment. It's now accounting for over 40 percent of all the coffee consumed at home is purchased in a single serve format, and it was 5 percent three years ago, Diane. That's amazing also because it it is more expensive, isn't it, to buy these little single servings? But the consumer thinks it's a great deal because they're comparing it to the, the great job that restaurant chains have done providing consistent great coffee. Canadians love premium good coffee and now they can get it at home in a simple way. Because consumers never measured enough coffee or enough water, but now they get a consistent cup of coffee every time and they're flocking to it. And now you have a compostable one. Yes. Sounds like a well, good idea, Well, the product idea, we developed course. two years ago was 35% less packaging than the rigid cups that are out there from our competitors. But in our market research, the consumers were saying, we don't feel that good about all of this. If you lined up all those pods around the earth, you'd go around 10 times end to end. And the consumer says, I don't feel good about this. Can you come up with something better? And we've come up with 100% compostable, 100%. So what is it? What's it we've, made of? So we've made it from bioplastics. We've worked with the University of Guelph. They've got a phenomenal research center there in bioplastics. And then we took the chafe from coffee roasting and mixed it in to the, the pod that we make. And we're using coffee uh, stuff that would have gone in the landfill. And now we're putting it into the ring that forms this cup. Hmm. It's a great story. And this is a Canadian company? It's a Canadian company, independent Canadian company that's been around since 1906. Wow. Uh, now Although we make product for other people, so no one ever knows who we are. Right, yes, and you don't yeah. want to talk about no. that. So why are you bringing it up? Uh, but tell me who is, is going to use this. Like, who, is this going to be Keurig? Is the, what's gonna can, it'll, it will run in a K-cup machine, and it will be sold by some of our customers starting this fall. And we believe the consumer will love it, and it's made right here in Toronto. Uh, we've created 120 jobs so far this year, built a brand new plant in northwestern Toronto. This is a good story and for food processing. And it's, uh, we're using high-tech equipment to form these, these things. This is a great story for Canadian food processing. Now, I saw in the background research I was giving that Keurig has said it's going to take uh, that company six years to come up with something well, similar. We, well, that's what I they, find that a bit hard to believe. That's what they're going to do. We've done it now, and it'll be in the market this fall. But do you think it's going to take them six years to compete? Uh, it's up to them. I, we decided to get to the market fast and give the consumer what they want. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but there are other people getting into this area. Lots of famous coffee brands are in it, uh, and lots will be coming up this fall. There'll be a lot of, uh, of information this fall about single serve, as it's now taken so much of the marketplace. The neat part about it is, it's here in Canada, we're global leaders. I don't think there's anyone else in the world that's developed a 100% compostable coffee system. Now, what are you calling your particular an aroma cup product? Because what is it? an aroma cup because you can smell the coffee when you open the bag and that's part of the whole coffee experience is smelling what you're going to drink. But you're going to be branding it with other names. With other customers across North America. Big coffee sellers that you cannot name at this point. Some great brands. Mm -hmm. But now Kraft is getting into this business yes. and they're going to be packaging all sorts of and famous they, types of and, uh, and, popular coffees yes. into this same format. That will be some And that's only going to add to the marketplace. I think more and more consumers today, only 13% of Canadians have a single serve machine. In Europe, most homes, over 50% of the households in Europe have single serve. So there's lots of opportunity for everybody. Now, how much have you invested into this? Our first, uh, last year we built the plant. We put $30 million in the ground and we've added another 20 that will be finished this summer. Hmm. And where's all that money coming from? Hard earned work. We're, we're a private Canadian company, and we've done this the right way. Okay. A little bit of help from the Ontario government. And now, what is your plan in terms of marketing this, perhaps even internationally? Our, our customers will be marketing this product, but it will be sold. majority of it will be manufactured for the United States market. Okay. The trick in Canada, we've got to get scale here. 
in order to be competitive, and we've got to develop outside markets. We're too small a country just to, to suffice on our own. So our strategy has always been to use this product in the U.S. market, and today over half our sales are there. And what do you know at this point about how uh, it's going to be marketed? I mean, are they going to be labeling these as yes. a compostable cake? What, how will they be It will be as 100% compostable, and we're working with the municipalities to get their uh, permission to, to go in the green bin, because that is critical. Our whole goal is to have this put right into a green bin. And That's when will simple. it be on the market? This, later this fall. All right. Well, good luck with it. Thanks, Diane. Thanks so much.